Hello everybody and welcome back to Third Age Total War and today we are continuing with the evil campaign, the all evil campaign, and I did it! I I gave Isengard wargs and it turns out, um, it turns out there's two types of wargs. There's goblin wargs and then the Isengard wargs, which are just called wargs. And uh, I think the Isengard wargs are better overall. Um, I think the defensive stats are the exact same as the Goblin Wargs, the Gundabad and Misty Mountain Wargs, but uh, the attack is way higher for Isengard once they get those unlocked, but I, I just gave Isengard those uh, Goblin Wargs for the uh, first building, because I just think it's dumb. Like, wh why, why can I build a Warg Breeder? Like, dude, I don't get it. Like, it's probably, <clears throat> it's probably for balance, but, I mean, frankly, Rohan gets to, like, like, just spawn stacks out of nowhere, so I don't care. And I don't want to, I don't want to have wasted all that money and time building warg stuff. But, uh, anyway, we were about to, uh, just take West Dodds Gilead. They got two units there. Uh, the garrison script is going to kick in and, uh, crank that up a bit, but... Um, we should be able to go in with everyone. Whoa, whoa. Leave one guy there. Hit this. Go in. And they spawned. So they're gonna have one unit of archers, which is not bad. We got... Oh, Jesus. We got one unit of archers ourselves. Alright, well. Whatever. Um, I didn't give... I did... I wanted to give Mordor wargs as well, but... Mordor already has the Nazgul cavalry, and I don't want to, like, change the entire mod too much. But there's, like, an arcade sub-mod for 3rd Age 3.2, and I, I kind of went crazy with that. I gave Mordor skirmishers, I gave them wargs, gave Isengard the wargs. So, oh, there we go. And, yeah, hopefully the, um... Uh, I don't think I we've had any big battles since I did that four gigabyte patch. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we don't have any more crashes like that. But I'm still just gonna save at like every opportunity. And I've done I've done this Osgiliath battle so many times, and the orc band the orc band I'm just gonna run these guys at them. Um, they're literally cannon fodder, and then these. Guys, I guess they'll just kind of be here. Uh, it should be... Yep, yeah, should be everyone. Um, this general right here, I guess we'll, we'll just... We'll keep him in... I Actually, I should probably bring him back to East Osgiliath when we're done. Okay, let's just try and get everyone here. All right, you guys get over there. Um, orc band. We'll have them just line up so they can tank everything. Have the archers go over here so we can shoot over and just like pelt them with these absolutely horrendous arrows. Um, raiders. Two companies. Um, I guess we'll just have two companies hang out right there, and then three companies behind them, and then this general. We'll keep him back just in, just to be safe. Then the Nazgul. Um, I guess we can. There's not much room. I guess we'll keep them back here. We should be able to run through pretty quick. Doesn't look like they're even trying to guard the walls. Oh, they got they got two units of archers because of uh, uh, Faramir. Is that, that the guy? Yeah, he has his own Athelian Ragers. Okay, they're already opening up. Now we just gotta. Uh, you guys get right in. front. Right, right there. You guys get out of the way. I don't want to lose a whole chunk of dudes to friendly ballista fire. 
It looks like we're, we're getting some kills. Eh. Okay, I, I guess they're gonna just... Stand there. Any day now. Any day now. Alright, shoot the gate. And we're starting to get fired at, hit, whatever. Oof. Oh my god, oh shit. They got lit the hell up. Oh, they got the rangers up on the wall, okay. Oop, yeah, we're just gonna have to sit here and take it. Uh, sometimes I like to just come out of the gate. But, yeah. We're f just gonna have to sit here and take it. That's... Not ideal. They are shredding my orc raiders. Christ. Jesus Christ. How can we and, alright. Everybody through. Good lord. Nazgul will get through there. They're starting to shoot my Nazgul now. Jesus Christ. Yeah, look, oh my god. Are they gonna run out of ammo soon? Good God. That's not overpowered at all. I guess work band, get over there. Um, cavalry. Get way back there. Orc band. Are those spearmen going up on the walls? I guess we can have all the orc band go up on, on this wall and kill those guys. Oh, we killed a... a we killed a bit of them. Well, they already- they committed their spearmen over- over here, so... What are they doing? I, I attack them, I guess. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> fuck. This is just a fucking disaster. Okay, um, all the Nazgul, get way the fuck over there. You guys just charge. Okay, you guys get all the way over here. Yeah, I also tried, there's a, apparently there's some, like, animation, there's some stupid animation shit. Oh good, they're committing, okay. I think they just ran out of archers. 
But apparently there's some stupid animation where they just endlessly push people and it like specifically ruins two-handed units. And I tried to I tried with the uh with the arcade sub mod, I tried to implement that change. But I think it crashed it crashed the game, so I can still play the campaign mode, but when I when I try and load up a battle it it uh, doesn't work. So um But I'm, if I get if I can get that to work, I might update this game with that as well, just because. And we should eventually kill all these guys. But I think every unit in the game it specifically hurts two-handed, like weapon units. But I think um, it's like a shield bash or something like that. I don't know, but apparently it makes things happen a lot faster. Um, all of you hit those guys from the back. All you guys commit, commit, commit. Uh, Witch King, do your thing. Okay. Out. We'll try and get these guys around here, and then hit them from the side here, and just endlessly charge them right here. Um, I wonder if I can sneak through right there. Um... Oh, how did the archers get through? I guess we- oh. Whatever, we- hitting from, from both sides now, so that's fine. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll try and get there. Okay, you guys try and get right there. Yeah, this is not going well. We lost almost half the forest because of those stupid fuck archers. That was not even close to as good as I thought it was going to be. Okay. I mean, we're still going to win, but it's just... Jesus. Not gonna have as many dudes as I thought. Okay. What the fuck? Oh. Alright, you guys, charge them in the back. You guys engage them. Uh, 75 left. Athelian Rangers, 12 left. We got these guys. Eighty-three. Yeah, we got. They have lost half their men. Although with with three Nazgul, we should be able to. These three cavalry units alone should crush a lot of these early armies. Like absolutely destroy. Okay, we got that guy. Only half our force remains. Oh, can we? One guy left. We okay. They're routing. Got them. Kill them. They're fighting to the death, good. Alright, and it looks like that... Looks like all that collapsed. You two Nazgul, focus those guys. Witch King, focus the Rangers.
What the fuck is that? Little bitch ass dog. Our men have taken control of the castle. Well, I guess that was a bit sloppy, but I should have brought more archers and had them focus those rangers. Hey, we got it. Okay. Well, hey, you know what? I, whatever. I tried. 1,300 lost. Jeez. Most of those, uh, at least, uh, gee, at least a third of those casualties are probably f just from those two archer companies. God damn. That was, yeah, that, that battle usually goes a little bit better than that. But, Gondor shouldn't pull a gigantic army out of their ass. I hope. Alright, and that's actually a fortress. Um... Human head, nice. Four command, as if he didn't have enough. Well, um, I don't care about the orc band, so just merge all those dudes up. We lost, like, one full company of them. Looks like the orc raiders didn't get much experience at all. You, back there, so we can have a governor there. I guess... Get some more units there. Hey, well, hey, we're gonna be making some money now. We gotta retrain those dudes. And then get those dudes all the way down and just kind of give up on Dol Guldur because, yeah. Well. Hey, I, I, we won. We won. Now we gotta go take care of Andros, which I shouldn't have as much of a... Shouldn't have as big of a garrison as the other stuff. And... Oh my god, it doesn't take effect. Haha, <laughs> son of a bitch. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, so I have to... Okay, well, that sucks, but... Okay. Well, we're going to have to rebuild that. What the fuck? Hold. Okay, well... Uh, what? I guess, uh... Doesn't have the correct province resources or something to train the wargs? I don't know, but if, if we can get that at Isengard, if we can just get, like, one warg out, that'll be fine. Uh, do I have to redo everything? No, we already moved all this stuff. Okay. Um, I think I actually do need a general. That's pretty lucky, but he's in, stuck in Isengard. Well, yeah, it says we can train the warg riders here, but not here, I guess. Whatever. Yeah, I need more spies. These guys, one turn... All right. Um, Ready. Do I only? I think I only have one spy. Ready. This way. Hey, Rohan has a. Coward Rohan doesn't coward. seem to be going too crazy right now, but I think this infantry. <clears throat> I think this army is very infantry heavy. And I would like to just like completely destroy it. Um. They have no general there either. Yeah, very, very infantry heavy. I think, uh, oh, okay, so the high elves. Okay, so they, they went back. They, they had an army out here. Then they went back in. Okay, can we just see what's going on here? Okay, attack this. Well, attack that. Siege it. I'll... 
I guess I could probably just do that at Mount Gastel. Okay, that makes sense. Um, oh yeah, Warg Breeder, yeah. For the Misty Mountain guys. Is this done with, these guys done with anything? Okay. Um... Yeah, cavalry. Having cavalry is kind of a must. Especially when I want to just like completely run down entire companies of people. The mountain fort. Mountain fort's a little weak. Um... Yeah, we'll get some more reinforcements up there. Then we got two settlements up here the Misty Mountains need to take, and then we can maybe try and get the Grey Mountains back. Is that what they're called? Yeah, the Grey Mountains. And then maybe take this. I still I'm I'm still I still can't decide whether to go west or east first, or east or west first, so. Probably gonna bite me in the ass. We need a commander for Gundabad. Uh, where what where did I get this guy? Rebels. I'm gonna stick you. Got a warg there. Who? Where's our? Uh... Where'd that general? Oh, ah, <laughs> fuck. Adoption not completed. God damn it. Get ready for fighting. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to. We need to get the troll. We need to get the the troll unit over here. We need to get him all the way down here to Cold Fells to use against the elves. And then. I suppose Graham is going to be the main target of Eriador if they try and attack me at all. Because, like, coming through this river is going to be a pain in the ass, and they should have to attack this fort first before they get the Karn Doom. And then, if they do try the other way, they'll have to go all the way around there. Unless they can... I think that they can cross... Yeah, they can cross... They can cross right there. Yeah, take this guy... And we'll go build a, a tower by this crossing, and then probably right by this crossing, just because I want to see stuff. I need to see stuff. Whoa. Sure. And an adoption not completed. I think that's like, that That happens like almost, oh, whoa! Over 50% of the time. How may I serve? Okay. Yeah, they're pretty heavy with the cavalry in that army. But it seems like they're not attacking at all. Um, yeah, G Gondor must have like a, a mission to take Barad Harn or... I'm not sure, they're just really focused on here. I should have... There's some more cavalry. Corsairs there. I could transport the Corsairs back back here and retrain them. Oh, there's there's only one company left. So we yeah. Oh why I could have taken the damn guys when I left, whatever. Um I guess we'll go for some money buildings. And a trade building down there. This place... Pretty soon they'll be ready to upgrade. And these guys aren't going to be able to get down there e soon. Um... Well, this army should be able to at least defend itself now. It's going to be probably another tough fight, but... Um... We got these guys loaded. Um... Let's just stay on the coast so we can reinforce easily. 
and then get as close as we can to those ships just to make sure we can get those horses there. And then we, with uh, one general cavalry and then two other units of cavalry, we should be able to do... I'm still going to be outnumbered in terms of cavalry, but it, it should be better. <laughs> should be better than it was. All right. Let's see if... Oh, wow, he actually got him this time. Okay. Um, that place has got a general. Roman's got a general. This place has got a general. This place does not have a general. You. This guy. Is he, does he have good traits? Skilled bureaucrat. Oh, okay. Yeah, he is pretty good. Yes, noble master. Or, I guess, a good governor. At first light. How may I serve? Order. We must. My ears are yours. My eyes. Okay, Dale. Dale may be going for Wilderland. My ears are yours. Okay, so it seems like they have that army just standing there. And then this army. My eyes are yours. I will only There's some cavalry in there. Come and get me, you coward. You could probably go out with those two generals and that horse archer unit. Is this going to actually, like, touch corruption at all? 726 to 689, yeah, sure. That's decent. I mean, it'd be nice to have roads in this entire area. And if anybody... Okay, we can build a market here, but we're already building something. Okay. New mission... <laughs> blockade? I don't think we can even train ships. Alright. Uh, we'll do another quick little... I can only see they have rivermen. Dalesmen. Oh, that's going to be a pain in the ass. We're going to have to have the raiders focus them. And then they got their general with their cavalry. Well, let's try it. A few charges and a few things here and there should do pretty good. I mean, I think we, we completely wiped a company of Dalesmen with like one charge. So with two of those general cavalry units, it should be good. I think this, this is the exact same battlefield. And I don't think they have any archers at all. Um... Well, they shouldn't- they still shouldn't be able to catch my cavalry, uh... Uh, cavalry, or missile cavalry focus the, uh... Uh, spearmen. I'll probably have to use one of my general units to just... I guess tank their cavalry. Or maybe, since they're- they are kind of spreading out here. If we can catch their horses and just wipe out a huge chunk of that company before... The infantry's nearby. I, uh, I don't think we're going to be able to. Oh, they stopped. Okay, yeah, they're just gonna sit there and take it, I get oh. Alright, go in. Yeah, that's really light cavalry. We should crush it. 76. 62. All right, um, they got 30. We, have cut off the we got the general. The enemy general is slain. Let's see how these snakes fight without their head. And we disengaged. 
94 left. I think, yeah, we killed a huge chunk of them. What does this do? Increases combat effectiveness. What do you... Okay, whatever. Um, you guys get way up there. You guys hit the Dalesman. 19 uh, cavalry left. These horses are so fucking big, dumb, and slow, it's kind of annoying. Um, you guys hit the rivermen. Oh, they already fucked me up. That was a fucking horrible charge. And the, the fucking Dalesman company's all fucked. Um, okay, you guys need to get all the way over here. I guess we can hit them from the back. Um, looks like we fucked them up pretty good. Okay, both of you charge those dumbasses. And these guys get in a real long line. Charge them. Enemy force remains. We must pray they lose their will to fight. Routed. Ooh, shit. Those Dalemen are absolute trash. And cut all that down. We already killed the general, so... Um, yeah, we can let that little clump of guys get away. Yeah, we lost a big chunk of those cavalry, though. Fifty, forty, thirty. Battle appears to be running in our favor. From good tidings such as these, does victory spring forth? Seventeen, sixteen. These Dalesmen are like retards, though. The, they got they got a bunch of retards to fight for them. Like, look at that. They just lost their entire company, and they're like, now they're routed. And now one good charge right in the back of these guys should absolutely crush them from either one of these units. And then they're gonna turn around. Yep, they're gonna turn around. Oh, no, wait. Shit. Oh, no, they're going in that- they're going to fucking porcupine formation. Shit. Well, this is gonna be a fucking disaster, but... with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. Come on. Our enemy okay. Enemies before us like a herd of goats. Drive them from the battle. Yep, definitely, definitely closer. Definitely closer, but uh we still got a good chunk of cavalry left over, and they got some good experience now, and these guys are getting a lot more experience too, as well. And it's good also to just kind of figure out, you know, what does what. Um, the 
enemy must curse the day they were born. Heroic victory. Let all the poets write of Yeah, I think I think I need to I need to make as long a line as possible when I try to do charges and stuff. That seems to that seems to do the most damage when I deliberately like stretch it out as long as possible. And we got another star, and yeah, we also get routines and stuff. That's a lot. Routine expands. Um, Borthan, is that the main guy? That's the main guy. Veteran armor. Um, authority troop morale. Same guy, three move points. One command, one command in cavalry, and trait increase, one command. Which, oh my god, this guy isn't even that good. What the hell? I guess the, the faction leader only gives him one command. Oh, another successful battle. And we'll see what happens. Gondor may attack Harad. And some other stuff might happen. There we go, Dale's on the way. And, oh, okay, they finally decided to come at Isengard. Looks like Rohan's moving up a few more units over here. Do I have archers in this? I might not. I, th I have skirmishers, which I'll have to use those against their... I don't, they might have archers. I know they have skirmishers. I just drop that. Um, ooh. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot. Uh, yeah, they have some archers, so we're gonna have to use, we're gonna have to like run those guys down or use skirmishers on them. Continue like this, we will smash them. I don't know what defensive mode does, or guard mode, I don't know what the fuck that does. Okay, they should they should run like bitches. And then the Snaga will have them go around the back of these guys. Actually we'll just have them engage directly on those guys because they're already boxed in. Okay, no, we'll get them to go I I I guess the Snaga just don't do anything right. What the fuck is the point of these guys? They can't throw their fucking javelins, they can't attack when they need to go attack, they're fucking weak as fuck. Like, holy shit. Like, what a retarded ass unit. Only half the enemy force remains. Looks like they all just collapsed.
Oh my, I, I, I like, what, what's the point? What's the point of these Snaga? What, what's the actual point? They don't do anything right. They literally don't do anything. Looks like they killed a good chunk of them right there, but they, they just don't do anything right. It's so fucking annoying. Come on, break them! There we go. Are we gonna have to go get the ram? Oh yeah, come out, come out, come out, bitch. Come on. Oh Christ, all right. Oh, what a fucked up, oh my God. Okay, 303 lost, that was, yeah. I blame the skirmishers, I blame the skirmishers. That's all I do is just blame skirmishers. Okay, Mordor General, I don't think we need another one of those. Oh, Gondor Army here, okay. And a decent one right outside here. Yikes. No sleeping here. This is not looking good. Apparently we're the largest faction now. Get ready for fighting. Come on. We have completed an Um Spy. The hell down here. Ready. Hurry up. Um just a bunch of ground units. Okay, so we should be able to uh, completely annihilate that with uh just my Nazgul, really. Get ready. Fuck it. Be then gone. these guys, if I move my guy, if I move out with- uh, Shit! Get ready for fighting. If I move out and these guys siege, then I'm probably- I'm not gonna be able to hold this, maybe. I don't know. I might be able to. The AI is pretty stupid when it comes to sieges. And I do have a ballista there that can do serious damage. Whatever, we'll fucking try it. Man, I guess that like, fuck. How much money do these guys have? I I I'm, I assume they get like a ton of they get a ton of extra support. They get like absolute an unreal amount of assistance when it comes to this type of shit. Where are the are the marines in the back? Where are the marines? The marines... The marines are right there, I wanna kill them first. Well, the computer thinks it has a pretty big advantage, so let's... Um... I need- I want those marines completely gone. Oh, come on, you fuckwads! Jesus Christ! Bro, if you're gonna come at me, then just come at me! Fuck, okay. They're being... They're being AI-ish, okay. What the fuck? There we go, move out. Ah, here we go. Okay, they're facing that way. What are you- why are you walking, clown?
And wiped out a huge chunk of them. Back. You guys are still forming up because you're absolute dipshits. And I don't... Did we lose one... I don't think we lost one unit there. I don't think they know what the fuck is going on. Oh! Hit them. You guys hit them. This guy can't do his thing, this guy can. They're not even facing the right direction to do anything. Nope, son of a bitch. And that should- that's- that entire company wiped. You two kill them. Um... Looks like they're gone completely. Take- take a- take a few more fucking lifetimes to form up, why don't you? Take a few more- it's not like we're fighting a fucking battle here or something. Christ. Absolute fucking clowns. They're gonna try and get some off. They did not. And we wiped them. Yeah, they're gone. Alright, and, um... Uh, six left. This should be a stack wipe. Ten left there. We'll have the Witch King go for that 51, and then have both of these two companies... Go for that bigger one. Attack them, you guys. Go in there. And, um... Ah, no one's ready. Except that one guy. And they should all die. Somehow, somehow they survived the charge from the back. There we go. And, uh, they should run out of the map. Got the general, 99% kills, 10 lost, okay. Um, with, well, we do have cavalry. Are we going to be able to get all the way back to West Osgiliath? We should be able to. Yeah, we should be able to. With only cavalry? Yeah, yeah, we can get back there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, get lost, Gondor. You're, you're fucking trash. You've always been trash. Okay, you guys, get out here. We need to reinforce stuff. Um, these fellas... Move up a little bit so they don't get any funny ideas. That was pretty damn good, alright. Okay, yeah, now we just, we gotta build up some more units, consolidate more, hold West Osgiliath, destroy anything that comes up, do, do that over and over and over again until Gondor's had enough, then we'll take care of Andros, and then we'll probably have to secure the south here, and that's gonna be annoying to do, because we're gonna have to focus on stopping them from crossing, no, Harad can do that, I just need the settlements as Mordor, alright, so we took this, Probably could have gone a little bit better than it did, but I'm not going to whine too much. And there we go. We can make wargs. 
And these are the other war riders, I think, because I didn't I didn't make everything practice range. We need that. I didn't set up everything so that the goblin wargs are able to be trained in the warg cages. These are the Isengard wargs. Um, I think they both, they're both basically the same on paper, but I guess they look the same. But hey, at least I can, at least I can train wargs somewhere. Oh, fuck. Okay. See, this is why I don't do anything, because the AI just b busts a fucking full army out their ass. This guy's still there. There is healthy respect well, between us, my lord. What is it you wish to discuss? I do not Fuck. believe I'm able to accept this. Um Very well. What else do you have to suggest? Balanced Generous. Balanced. Let's not take this any further. Clown. Dickwad. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess that's like the most AI thing to do in this fucking game ever. Um, try and reinforce the region, I guess, and uh, see what happens. We're just like getting, we're just at, on, on the offense, or on the defensive on like all fronts here. Expanding, expanding just opens me up even more. Jesus Lord. Um, once we get the wargs done, I'll probably do this because then we'll be able to completely, even with one unit of wargs or cavalry, ju with just one, I should be able to completely demolish shit. Like the biggest, the biggest issue is when they route and then a huge chunk of the force gets away and I can't get a complete stack wipe. Because I just have infantry. That's like the biggest problem. Okay. Emma Gastel. Guess we'll retrain those fellas. No sleeping here. Work on the, those guys up there. Keep training. Keep training. I don't really need more over here. And we should be able to uh, take this. Uh, do I really need to do this? Christ! Fucking elves. Fuck you. Well, fuck, whatever, bro. Get lost. God damn it. Fuck. Oh my god, okay. It's gonna build a watchtower out there because of that. Listen up. Get ready for fighting. Listen up. Get ready for fighting. Listen up. Lost half the goddamn ward company. But we took uh took two settlements from the elves, so that's cool. Um Yeah, we're gonna warg breeder right there, and I. Okay, and and right here. Uh, if. No sleeping here. Come on. We need we need to hold Goblin Town. If Goblin Town gets taken, that's like my second biggest city. This place is pretty close to the same level, but probably doesn't even have mines and stuff. Uh, this guy. He was, he was going around here to go build stuff, and this guy was going over here so we can get a tower right here. I think we can get one unit of wargs every 10 turns, so even even though we were able to build them as Isengard, it's like, geez, not going to be very often they're going to be coming out. Ready. Ready. 
But at this point, I've played I've played this mod so many damn times that I'm pretty I'm pretty uh, good at just relying only on cavalry. Uh, you get there, got two units of cavalry, and we do it for Gundabad and Misty Mountains. Kind of, we can go out here and train some cavalry every once in a while, or get some mercenaries. And we're just about at the end here. I guess, I guess I'll just keep going until a battle or I end Rune's turn. Or the end of Rune's turn, because some shit might happen. Especially with the elves. Um, what the? Oh, we're just waiting for this place to level up. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll start training another unit of archers over there. Alright. Parad. Okay, they're not really doing anything. Oh, that army left, or maybe it just. Where is it? Okay, that that, that army's headed north because I just completely demolished that smaller army that Gondor sent at me. Well, two units of cavalry. Pretty good amount of archers, spearmen, infantry. All right. So we resolved that situation, and we didn't lose um, Barad Harn yet. Um, Gondor, don't care. Looks like nothing immediately. Yeah, I guess we'll just build money buildings. We need to get a. a Pretty strong economy, so we can handle, you know, handle a bunch of armies over here, and then handle an army to cro to guard the crossing right here. But we should, uh, we'll probably try and kill this next video. And looks like we're going to get a very first big Dale battle. One unit of cavalry, so I'm going to have that advantage. So basically, the ground units are just going to be there to pin them down and hold them down long enough for my cavalry to swoop around the side and screw them up. Finally got roads done here, but we can't afford the barracks. This guy... He needs to go to the capital, then we can pull out this guy. Uh, Roman finished irrigation. 3% growth rate up to 6,500. Wait, do we have another spy there? I thought I trained another spy somewhere. Was it here? No, I must have taken him out. Um, We definitely got a smaller army. But we do have a we do have a good mix of just javelins, archers, ground units, and cavalry. They also have a pretty good mix, but they're pretty lacking in cavalry, and the cavalry they do have is not very good. And if I just keep my cavalry back, the AI just seems to kind of charge into my line. So <laughs> the worst thing about ruin is that we don't have a spear unit. We like I think these guys. These guys have a, apparently they have a bonus against cavalry, but they're not like a dedicated spear unit. We only get spears until those golden guys, when Roman finally upgrades and we hit 2990. But, um, no, that Mordor battle was pretty damn good. That was like, that was five companies wiped for the loss of 10 units, which are going to regenerate next turn anyway. Um, Misty Mountains are gaining ground over here. Not sure if we're going to hold that. Isengard's probably about to lose these two settlements because I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold against Eriador. I don't know if I, I just, I can't, I can't spare the stuff to, to move or to keep an army out here and fight Rohan. I can't, I just don't have enough over here. So Isengard is being Isengard again. I'm just like biting off more than I can chew. I just, I think I just need to hit, I need to, 
just bash Rohan in the face over and over and over again. I think that's like the only way. I just need to fight Rohan as much as I possibly can. That seems to be the only way. And then just very, very slowly expand, expand. It's just crush Rohan over and over. Um, Harad, we kind of reverse the situation. Not Well, we balance the situation. So that's good. Rune is about to... We're about to get a big battle, which is going to make the situation or give us a situation i don't know if it's going to be good or bad but seem things seem to be going pretty normal over here i definitely could have expanded a bit faster but i still don't know if i would have gotten rovanian at all and then gundabad they're just the distances out here are so vast that it's just hard to and and all the settlements are so small too and also Gundabad and Misty Mountains have a just this gigantic thorn in their back right here with the dumbass high elves. So yeah, it's uh going. But we'll see what happens next time. So if you made it here, thank you for watching. If you watch any of my other stuff, thank you for watching that as well. And I will see you in whatever I decide to do next time. So thank you for watching.